Guys, we've been making mods for quite some time for Balloons Tower Defense 6, and I mean quite some time now. So let's take a moment to talk about the top 10 strongest mods we've ever created for Balloons Tower Defense 6. So the Iron Monkey was such a crazy, powerful tower. Guys, if you want the Iron Monkey to be brought back, hit that like button, guys. If this video gets over 20,000 likes, it'll tell me you guys really, really want to see Iron Monkey. But this tower is absolutely crazy. Not only is it relatively cheap, it's absolutely bonkers when it comes to damage. I mean, it has lasers, and as you upgrade the Mark V armor into the better, stronger armor, he gets missiles. He almost gets pretty much global range. This tower can solo all the way up to round 100. It's definitely one of, if not the strongest tower, just for like casual use, just by like putting down the tower and not having to worry about anything else. It just absolutely destroys all the balloons. I mean, look at how strong it is once we get more into the late game. Look at this guy. Look at how powerful he is. He's shooting rockets with one hand and blue laser beams with the other, and it's not even his final form. Once he gets fully upgraded, look at how powerful he is. Look at how absolutely crazy this tower becomes. Look at how powerful he is. Let's go up and go against like around here. Here's round 79, guys. Round 80. That was a ZOMG and it immediately got destroyed, guys. And next for the best mods in Balloons TD6, we have the Lucky Block mod. The Lucky Block mod might be a little bit random and crazy, but when the luck is in your favor, you are destined to just absolutely destroy. When you put down the Lucky Block, random things that can happen to you that are either good or bad bad and so if you do get only bad upgrades well yeah it's gonna be one of the worst and weakest mods but if you're a little bit lucky and you happen to get some good buffs all of your towers can attack faster not only that you can get money extra lives even random towers i mean when you put down the lucky block you have a chance to instantly get a t5 tower i mean there's a chance for you to instantly just win the entire game that seems like a pretty strong mod to me what do you guys think now of course there's always the exception you could instantly lose or have all of your towers sold which aren't that great but i think if you're just a little bit lucky this mod is probably the strongest mod in the entire game i mean imagine starting at round one and putting down a lucky block just to instantly win the entire game that seems pretty good the next mod in the list everybody is abilities last forever this mod is absolutely bonkers guys by using it it makes it so the abilities last well you guessed it forever and not only that once the ability goes off cooldown you can then use it again and it doubles the effect look at the super maelstrom right now look at how many blades are going out just because we keep stacking the effect over and over and over it becomes absolutely bonkers and the damage well it's kind of infinite right the more you keep pushing the button the more blades come out the stronger it gets and it's not just the super maelstrom it applies to every tower that has an ability how bonkers is that that means you can have infinite blue storm or constantly have the ice monkey freeze all the towers or have Gwendolyn constantly be throwing out fire bombs you can any ability it's infinite and will always be used and you can keep refreshing it and using it over and over and over it's one of the newer mods we have and remember guys if you are interested in any of these mods and you want to see more in-depth videos on them links will be in the description down below so you guys can go and check out all the awesome mods that we talked about in today's video the next mod I want to talk about, guys, is a little bit difficult to actually get to. It requires a little bit of work and timing in order to get the mod working, but when it does, it's unarguably the strongest tower Balloons has ever seen, and that is the one and only Tier 7 Crossbow Monkey, guys. We all know and love the Crossbow God, which is the T6 variant of the Crossbow Monkey, which is really, really powerful. I mean, all T6 towers are super amazing. I mean, look at how he absolutely shreds these BFBs and ceramics. He just does so much damage and so much. But if you're able to get 1 million pops, you heard me right, 1 million pops on the T6 Crossbow Monkey, he'll upgrade into the T7 
crossbow god. So here we go. Here he is transforming into it. Look at how awesome the transformation. And he turns into the sunbeam shooter. He turns pure gold and literally nothing can get by. He gets an awesome ability that instantly melts every single balloon that spawns and it just becomes absolutely unstoppable. Look at these, look at the balloons trying to get by. Nothing stands a chance against it. And that's why this is one of if not the strongest and best mod in BTD6. So the problem is, it does take a while to get actually activated. Unlike, you know, the Iron Monkey, which instantly is available for like 2,000 gold and can kind of carry you. This is a little bit weak and hard to get going, but once it started, boy oh boy is it unstoppable, guys. Round 999 doesn't stand a chance, guys. Moving on to the next one. Up next isn't exactly a T7 tower, guys, but it is a T6 tower. The White Wedding, also Legend of the White, as we like to call it. It's the upgraded T6 version of the Legend of the Night Tower, which is the bottom path of the Super Monkey, which upgrades them into this awesome white tower that shoots these black shurikens with blue rays of, like, plasma on them, and it looks so cool. It's definitely the coolest looking tower that we've ever made. Like, it definitely looks the coolest, in my opinion. It's just so cool. Now, the problem is, he does have to get to Legend of the Night first, which the Legend of the Night cost $250,000. It's definitely one of the most expensive towers in the game. I think the only thing more expensive than it is the True Sun God Temple. I don't think there's anything else that's more expensive than Legend of the Night. So, besides True Sun God Temple. So, it is definitely crazy expensive. And on top of that, you have to get it to 100,000 pops. So, again, it takes a little bit of work to get going. But once you have this mod activated and you have the tower ready to go... There's no stopping you. Some of you might not necessarily agree with this, and that's okay if not. And the reason I say that is it's not necessarily one mod. It's actually the combination of three mods that we use. And so it's not technically one mod, if that makes any sense. But the combination is so good, I had to put it in. And that's hypersonic and all towers shoot in a 360 degree radius and it gives you this awesome effect where basically all the projectiles just go out in their own little area and it looks so very cool guys i mean look at how satisfying this mod looks and not only that it's obviously incredibly powerful now the problems with this mod is lag it makes your game very laggy because there's just so many projectiles on the screen and it's kind of hard and it does make it a little bit difficult to see because of how crazy it looks but look at how cool and satisfying it looks guys if balloons wasn't uh laggy sometimes when it, it shouldn't be this would probably be the best and coolest mod of all time but again it is a couple of mods put together to create this masterpiece of a mod but it's still put in the top 10 just because of how cool and amazing it is guys up next guys is my personal favorite mod that we've ever done here on the channel and that's the grim reaper tower everybody the grim reaper is the strongest tower in the entire game it has the ability to instantly destroy any balloon no matter what i don't care if it's a a, a fortified bad balloon at round 999 by leveling them up even more though, you'll unlock a bunch of awesome cool features. He even gets the Necromancer ability that allows him to summon balloons to fight for him, which does negate some of his problems that he does have. One of the main problems being his attack speed is so slow. If you guys want to, I've done lots of different videos on him, but the video I would recommend is the video where I beat round 999 using this tower. The next mod, guys, that's absolutely amazing is the Aimbot mod. The Aimbot mod makes it so all projectiles home in exactly on the balloon. So basically, tax shooters, as you can see, they don't shoot out in this big AOE area. They actually just target and go straight for the balloons, making them incredibly powerful, making sure the Ray of Doom will then home in on your projectiles. It's basically like every single projectile gets the Ninja Monkey's projectile where it allows them to just zone in and attack them, guys. It's really powerful for certain individual types of towers, such as like helicopters, 
planes, tax shooters, anything that has a wide like spread, even like boats, it makes it really, really strong and really powerful. Whereas some towers, it doesn't really affect at all, like sniper monkeys, which just instantly shoot them, or ninjas, or any other towers that have very fast instant projectiles. It really doesn't do all of that much. So it's not as crazy as it could be, but definitely one of the strongest mods in the game just because of how powerful it makes certain towers. Next up on the list is the modded Sun Terror, guys. This isn't a T5 or a T6. This is actually its own custom tower, guys, and it is absolutely amazing. It's a mixture of the Technological Terror and the Sun Temple. As you guys can see, it looks absolutely amazing. Like, look how cool it looks, and it's super duper powerful. The one problem with it, though, is in order to place it down, it does cost $125,000 dollars so you do need to save up a lot of money and to place it down and it's not like you can you know spend a little bit of money and slowly work your way up to upgrading it you need to get a bunch of money beforehand before you can even put down the tower and on top of that it doesn't have any real upgrades so it kind of falls flat with the terms of excitement kind of like you don't get to build anything up you kind of just get it you put it down and then you have it but once you do have it it is so strong look at it absolutely shred these balloons and last but not least guys the coolest tower by far the black hole sun god tower this tower is absolutely amazing because it's not a super monkey guys it's actually the t6 upgrade of the middle path dart monkey who would have thought instead of having super plasma monkey fan club awesomeness or whatever it turns into this thing which then turns all nearby dart monkeys also into the black hole tower as you can see it shoots miniature black holes that bounce and ricochet all over the map making him absolutely terrifying and powerful look at how amazing he looks he looks so cool as well and there's also almost no limit you can have almost up to like what 20 or 30 other dart monkeys that also turn into the true sun god black hole amazing tower of awesomeness the one downfall to it though is it's really hard to get a hundred thousand pops on just a triple dart monkey you have to use the ability from the plasma monkey fan club constantly to keep it upgrading and getting pops so it does prove a little bit of a challenge to actually get there guys thank you so much for watching today's video if you enjoyed this type of video please consider leaving a like commenting down below subscribing and turning on notifications be kind to yourself be kind to other people you never know what other people are going through bye everyone